Well, from construction to landscaping, it was a day where frequent breaks in the shade were encouraged as air temperatures went into the 90s. And those heat index values, or it feels like temperatures, soared into the 100s. Kenzie Cummings, owner of Paragon Construction and Associates, says he tries to schedule his jobs earlier in the day to avoid those peak heating hours. But on hot days like today, staying hydrated is key especially the night before, not really trying to hydrate the day of working out here. Really want to do it the night before and days leading up to working out in the heat. Uh, of course, take breaks whenever we can. 15-minute uh, you know, water breaks just to kind of cool down, encourage cool towels around the neck and things like that, just to keep the guys somewhat cool out here. So, yes, ma'am, just encourage hydration, and that's really about it. Cummings went on to say heat safety is part of his company's weekly meetings and wanted to stress that each individual knows their body best. So if you're outside and you feel dizzy, have chills or goosebumps and feel fatigued, take a break and let someone know. If you see someone showing signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke, call 911 immediately.